I am so nice to you, and you're so mean to me. <laughs> Sorry, I'm good. Story of my life. How's the childhood trauma if your child's doing it to you? Retribution? Hey, remember all that therapy you said you were going to pay for? Here it is. <laughs> you just didn't know you weren't going to pay in cash. You got me. <laughs> <laughs> Well, it's funny, you have to admit. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, I'll pay for therapy later. <laughs> so Oh, we're up. just going to keep this going. Okay, I like this. So, Rocket Brothers started doing oat milk. Yeah. And then, man, I want oat milk in my coffee, but they charge you a dollar. A dollar? It's so worth it, but God, it's... Is it? It's not. It's not worth it. I just, I like not having dairy, because it's... It sits so much better, but yeah. God, it's so expensive. That's crazy. And it's so dumb. Oats that's are cheap. Dumb. I know. That's what I'm thinking. I, w I want to just go roll up and be like, can I have the espresso in a cup to go? And then I'll put my own oat milk in. There you go. Because at least I buy it at wholesale. <laughs> oat milk is expensive, though. Like, I don't know if you've seen or bought any before. No. But, like, it's like... I heard somebody say the other day it was six dollars a gallon, but I don't know where they lived. Why? It's not six dollars a gallon here, but it's expensive. It's just because it's a fad right now. I'm just yeah. waiting for it to wear off. That's true. Whenever but things are fads, it they... doesn't go bad. It does go bad, Kelsey. Nope, it has a Best Buy date. Now that goes bad date. Yeah. Best Buy date. <laughs> it's like. Oh my no, god. No, it's not. It's, oh, it doesn't have an not. expiration date. But uh, you, know, mean you know what I really it. like is I can buy it in bulk and put it in the pantry. Uh -huh. And then after I open it, I have to put it in the fridge. So I can just put one pint in the okay. fridge at a time. Now that is, yes, that's a good thing. Because it's not a perishable. I agree. <laughs> so when the apocalypse happens, we go get all the oat milk. Yeah, we have. Gotcha. We can make, you know, we'll just grow oats. We can make oats. We can make oat milk. We can. You think it's just easy just to grow make pancakes? Things. No, but you know how to farm. Uh, I've played video games. <laughs> Same thing. <laughs> You're right. Eat. Nah, if there's an apocalypse, I don't plan. I, I'm good. I'm good. I said, oh, Marcy, I said, uh, if there's an apocalypse, I'm. I'm not going to be here. What do you mean? I said, well, I'm not going to be living. What do you mean? That seems like a lot I of work. I would die. I would literally I would have, be one of those people that died first. because I would have time to read books, uh, though. It would be nice. That's the only thing that appeals to me in the apocalypse shows. I'm like, look at all the time to read. Would you? Yeah. Really? I hope so. Because what else? eat? What else is you there? You have to forage. Gross. You mean go outside? Foraging is gross. <laughs> yeah, it's outside. Ew. Yeah, you know what I would forage for? Some death cat mushrooms. <laughs> I've never, I don't know that I've ever had that. It's very fatal. Oh. And that's what you would give me? No, wow. for myself. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> I like how you're like, you would give me that? I'm like, what are you talking? I'm talking about me. I'm talking about me right now. <laughs> I was like, okay, well, give me that. Whatever. <laughs> I accept. <laughs> oh, leave it to me and make it about me. Yeah, that's actually a joke from uh, the game that I just finished. With. Oh, really? Yeah. That's how her parents died. Because his he was a mushroom farmer. Oh. And somehow he Sorry. got the wrong mushrooms. <gasps> somehow. That's crazy. Terrible. How he, after knowing how to forage mushrooms for years upon years, uh, just accidentally uh, picked the wrong one. <laughs> it's crazy. Uh, it was just food poisoning. Mm-hmm. Ticking me off. Ticking me off. <laughs> Good this, okay. <laughs> I'm not gonna ask you nothing. <laughs> I've given you the tools if you to guys can only see the looks I'm getting. <laughs> oh, whatever. I've gotten just as many of as I've given. Nope, it does not go there. Wiggles. 
You don't know the TikTok song? Uh uh. Uh. My money jingle jingles. My money doesn't jingle jingle, it folds. Have you heard that sound? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. You're on a different side of TikTok. <laughs> oh, I'm absolutely on a different side. My of money you. doesn't jingle jingle, it folds. I That's understand funny, the concept. Yes, I do. No, I'm, no. I'm playing songs in my head now, apparently. I'm in Lola Land. I'm not coming back. But, going to Crazy Town. I have been reading a book about a serial killer. So good, dude. It's such a good book. Crazy Town is fun, huh. though. Because <laughs> everybody thought she was dead, and she wasn't dead. <laughs> and then she came back and murdered all of them. It was hard. They deserved it. One of them was beating his little girl and wife. Oh, girl and wife. that's that book. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was like, nobody deserved... Okay. To die? Pedios <laughs> definitely deserve to die. That's disgusting. And people who beat women. You know, I don't... Oh, man, her story is so good. It's... I don't know if I could believe in the death penalty, but I think for those I would. Yeah. Or I don't know if I could sentence someone to the death penalty, except for those. I just... just children... Yeah, I just don't... Mm. I don't get people who already innocent, don't have yeah. a voice and then right. they take it away. That's why whenever it was the the character's father who had gone into working in child, uh, what is it called? Whenever you're a uh, foster parent, he was in a foster parent. He was the people that places the kids. Oh, oh. Uh, advocate or a social worker. Social worker. He was a social worker for. Um, children who literally don't have family yeah and so nobody was looking for them and that's how he was getting uh, access to uh, children is he was a social worker for like 15 years disgusting and yeah he had he had taken 70 oh my 70 kids that he had kidnapped held in his his shed until oh. they you know weren't doing what he needed them to do anymore and then he would bury them in his yard and because they didn't have any family, nobody nobody ever them. nobody ever once looked for them. They they were labeled by him because he was their social right. worker as runaways. Yeah. Ugh. Wow. Yeah. I was like, when she murdered him, I was like, hell fucking yeah, yeah. let's go. <laughs> Ugh. Ugh. So. And I hope it was painful. That just. I guess it was. <laughs> she she didn't get to take as long as she wanted to, because she was meeting up with her FBI boyfriend. <laughs> oh my god, it is Dexter. <laughs> Dexter was in the F the FBI though. No, he was a policeman. He was a police officer. He was a, a crime, detective. He, no, he wasn't a detective. He was a crime forensics analyst. Like he did the fr the blood work and whatever it's called. <laughs> so what's the book called? Mindfuck series. Oh my god. <laughs> I know. <laughs> See, I think I want to read something, and then I'm like, I can't read that. I can't physically have that book. Like, Oh yeah, I read it on Kindle, for sure. But... You can't... Yeah, you couldn't take that anywhere. No. I, I don't... I do, like, more discreet romance novel books, but you can just get, like, a cover for your book. Like, you can get a... True, true. And just read whatever. But it... I mean, where are you yeah. going that you're reading? You know what I mean? <gasps> what? Mm. I'm not saying... I'm just, like... Doctor's office? Uh, I mean, I have a life outside of your house. <laughs> Why? <laughs> that sounds terrible. <laughs> I don't do that. I do other things. I it's funny know. because I'm like, I want discreet book covers, but I don't go anywhere to read. Yeah. <laughs> I only read at home. I'm probably going to buy physical copies of those books, though, because they're really good. I was, I don't know. I get into moods where I want to read a book. That's why I finally brought yours back, because I was like, I'm not... I'm a mood reader, I'm not in though. the mindset to read right now, so... I have to read different types of books at different times, and sometimes it doesn't align with what I have in my list, 
which is frustrating, but I just, I've started to gather a collection of different genres so that I can jump back and forth as needed. Yeah. So. Because I, there's times where I'm like, this is my favorite book ever, ever, and then I get to, like, the second one in the series, and I'm like, I can't read this genre right now. <laughs> no thanks. So I have to read something else, which sucks, but... There's, there's a book, that book right there, that I really want to read, but I haven't been in the mood to read, like, YA for a while. Read what? Young adult. Oh. So, I'm trying, I'm trying, but it's just not happening. It's on my list, though. I'm gonna try your... Also, it's really heavy. I don't know why I got the physical book. Heavy? Yeah, look how big that book is. That yellow one? Oh. It's That's giant. a novel. It's like, it's like... That's not a book. That's a novel. Okay. No, it is. I mean, uh, uh, sure. It's huge. Yeah. It's huge. It's like this thick. It's... I don't know. I want to read it though. It's so good. But isn't that a novel? The ones, if it's big like that? I mean, a novel is just a book. I mean, you laughed at me, so. Well, I mean, I don't. I guess I don't understand the difference between a novel. I thought a novel was big book. I guess. I don't know. I just feel like novel is an old tiny word for book. Oh. <laughs> now I'm going to look it up. Because I think novel is like number of pages. I know there's a novella, which is a short book. I thought that was... What? Spanish. I think it started there, yeah. What? Classifies? Nope. What? Just say definition of book or definition of novel. Oh. I usually type def, d e f. We are always talking about books. Okay, I'm always talking about books. <laughs> I would if I could talk about books just forever. What makes a novel? Yeah. Book like. But like, what's so? There's not a difference between a book and a novel. No. What is a simple definition? A novel is an invented narrative of length and complexity. Complexity that deals imaginatively with human experience. So it's pretentious. And it literally says in the next one, it roots can be traced back thousands of years. <laughs> so I was right. No, they're still novels. She says, "Hey, hi to George." Hi, George. Uh, uh, novel. Say hi to George. Yes. Oh. Novel is an old word for book. You just say book. No, now. a novel is a link. It's, it's. Yeah, there's novellas, which is a short book, but they're both books. It's like saying a rectangle is a square. It's... No, that is not the same thing. Because a rectangle is not a square. It's a rectangle. <laughs> But a square is a rectangle. And yes, we are still arguing. <laughs> but a square is a rectangle. What? They are. They're and they're both parallelograms. A rectangle and a square are not the same thing. A, a square is a subset of rectangles. Okay, but it's not the same thing. Two or two or more sides are the same length. That's a rectangle. So therefore, a square classifies as a rectangle. A novel is a book. But yes. it's the thickness of the book that makes but it a novel. But also a novella <laughs> is a book. And then, okay, we already said that. A novella is not Spanish? No. Okay. Back to books. Books make me happy. <laughs> it's really bad because I'm on this really big emotional high right now and I'm reading a book about a serial killer. So I don't that's, know what that says about me. <laughs> that's not a good thing. <laughs> <laughs> run, JD, run! You know... Be wrong. Okay, I'm something. leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> you can try. She was just telling me about how somebody killed somebody with mushrooms, so I'm not eating here anymore. That was a video game. I'm not eating here anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Does she now know how to kill me? <laughs> oh, remember the Although, show A Thousand Ways to Die? I know so many ways to kill people. <laughs> <laughs> Although it would come in handy if we had an apocalypse. So if we have an apocalypse, I'll come see. It'll you. come in handy to murder people. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I said. <laughs> it's the 
what you just said. That is not huh. what I said. I'll go to my friends that know how to murder people when there's an apocalypse. You're not a friend. I'll go to my daughter. Actually, wow, I'm not even whenever I get really bad, I'm just going to go to Marcy. <laughs> That's fair enough. Marcy will help a girl out. <laughs> She'll give you murder mushrooms. <laughs> I don't know, Kelsey might do it for free. <laughs> so she might be like, <laughs> she's gone. No more. And then you can write all you want because I can't, I can't see it. Oh yeah, you're the one holding me back from writing. It's not, <laughs> you know, every other hobby I have. <laughs> it's not the 10 hours of puzzling I do on No, you should journal. I wish I could, I wish. <sighs> so I thought about journaling. Mm -hmm. But nobody would be able to hate, read my handwriting. <laughs> oh, you want people to read it? Well, Gross. if I journal, then you would read it after I'm dead. Ooh. I don't know right? about that. You wouldn't? I have a severe Wait, anxiety of reading other people's journals. It makes me physically uncomfortable. But you wouldn't read, like, after I'm dead. You wouldn't read my Not journal unless you had went. written it specifically of, Kelsey, you are allowed to read this. Okay, I do have a letter to you. <laughs> I am. I'm not surprised. I got really sick oh, one time, God. so I was like, "Oh my God, I should write a letter to the girls to make sure that they know that I really do love them." <laughs> Otherwise, we'll never know. <laughs> we'll never know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But now I need to write one for Corey because now he's gonna feel left out. Yeah, he doesn't know that you love me, so <laughs> you better write a letter. <laughs> it's not. Sorry. It's not. Actually, it's not in stupid. fact, if you don't put it in an email, I won't believe it's true. So I'm just I don't email. Just kidding. If it's not in a spreadsheet, was it even written by you? <laughs> it's true. I'll hide it in my spreadsheet. This week was a long short week, you know? You know what I mean? <laughs> it was a long short week? I feel like it went by really fast, but it took forever. Nope. <laughs> no, that makes any sense. I mean, it makes sense, but not in my week. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. It's just because I sat around and did a lot of nothing this week because I didn't feel like working. But you read like three books. Yeah, like I said, I didn't do a lot of work this week. <laughs> okay. I'm, I'm pacing myself that way in my so, new job role. They don't see me as like an overachiever that can do a lot more shit, so they keep giving me more shit. Is that how that works? I'm pacing myself, so if I look like I can't do a lot, they'll give me less than I'm capable of doing, and then I can hurry up and get it done in a short amount of time and do whatever the frick I want in my other amount of time. As long as I don't get cat. So, do, I was gonna say, I don't <laughs> understand your generation of working because it's like, when you're at work, you're there to do the job. Well, whenever your director's like, these are your goals for the week and you finish it in the first day, you're not going to add more goals. <laughs> You're getting paid regardless. Oh it's salary, gosh. okay? Listen, okay. I don't have to work overtime You're anymore. You're not an overachiever. I got it. I got it. Oh, I am, unfortunately. Yes. I'm, trying, I'm right. trying not to be because it's not healthy. It's not? No. I'm Me, um, everybody. <laughs> I don't understand. I don't receive that. Do you, like, wake up with a song stuck in your head? I have, but... Every morning, I have a new song. And it doesn't... I don't... I don't even know how it gets there. Listen to music that often anymore. Oh, I do on my way to work. So, since I, we went to... In, like, everything is Wi-Fi, I don't... I used to listen to music whenever I was uh, doing my ancestry stuff. Hmm. But I don't do that anymore because of... I don't want to use all the internet. So. There's no internet. Yeah. How low is your data cap? About 50. Gigs? Yeah. How are you using that much internet? We use 11. I don't know. It's really close. You're probably talking megabytes. Not gigs. We don't use that many. Okay, it's now 12.8. Gigs? Stop it! You keep saying it like that. That doesn't help. <laughs> GB? <laughs> or MB? 
don't know what you're saying. I mean, I understand gigabytes, megabytes, because megabytes go into gigabytes and make gigabytes. But I just know that we use like a hundred, hundred gigs. So gigabytes. Yeah, you're saying a thousand. One thousand two hundred eighty-nine gigabytes. Hold on. Gigabytes. How are you using a terabyte of data? Hello, have you met my husband? There's no way that we we download games. That's what I'm saying. Let me hold on. Every month, you download games. No, I'm saying every month. I have to look come. at my. Maybe I'm wrong. You're wrong. But I'm concerned. Why? That's a lot of data. He. I, I'm telling you, like we watch TV all day, every day, and stream and play video games, and like I upload, and you know, like. You have to be using more than we do. That's what I'm saying. There's no way that you're not. We don't hit our data cap. You don't have a data cap. Yeah, we do. You said you had unlimited. No. We have unlimited cell phone data. No, you said you had unlimited. No, we don't pay for unlimited. We never hit our cap. And we've only hit it. We hit our cap a couple of times, but we just pay the $10 it is for overage fees. We've had this conversation. I said, how do you get it I for that we... much? And you said, oh, yeah, it was a special deal. I don't have unlimited data, but I get the bandwidth, the max bandwidth, which is a gig down. Mm -hmm. um, we don't, we pay half price for it. Bandwidth and data limits are completely different. Okay. Yeah, we have 1,280 gig cap. We don't ever hit that. And I almost hit it every month. Ever. How are you downloading so much data? I'm not. You are, apparently. Your dad plays on the uh, okay. PlayStation. I guess if he's downloading games. But he's not. Because like, if we download like three or four games in a month, then we run into issues. But No, that's every month we hit that. Every month we hit a, almost 1280 a month. We hit. Hmm. You think crazy. it's wrong? That's right. Can you look by device? I don't know how to do any of that stuff. So, so like in one day, we've never gone above seventy gigabytes in a day. No, megabytes, gigabytes, gigabytes. But anyway, one day we hit one hundred and thirty-six, and I was like, what? That's like if you have that's everything. That's downloading a game for sure. Okay. That has to be. Because I was like, oh, no, because we weren't even home. Which I mean, if he's playing on the PlayStation, like a newer PlayStation, that's probably what he's doing. It was when he was working. Um, we, well, you know, what I'm surprised about is how much data we used in. You know, we were out for two weeks last month in March. I'm surprised that we're using more than you. And like our build, yeah, yeah, you are. Like I, don't, I didn't know last month. How are we using more than you? Thank you, Lily. You love your grandma? Yeah. Hey. You love your grandma? Yes, I know you love your grandma. <laughs> Asshole. <laughs> you know what? Freak you. I know where you sleep at night. Under my blanket. <laughs> You're a good dog. But you are just childhood trauma. Oh my gosh. You're 30. Get over it. <laughs> no, 30 is a new 20. Right? It's really not. Isn't that a, some, a phrase that your generation was always like, we're yes. still young? I'm like, you guys aren't young anymore. We're yes. young. But we we're not that young. They said. 20 is the new. You guys are just in denial. Uh, 30 is the new 20. Us, we're like, we're old. Yeah. They're like, you're 18. I'm like, yep, yep. old. <laughs> Your dad Accepted. tells me constantly how old we are. And I'm like, I'm not old. Uh, yeah, you are. Old. And? What's wrong with that? I'm not old. <laughs> it's really weird because when you look at your parents, you obviously, they're old. But you don't realize that whenever you get to that age, like, but I don't know everything like I thought, like, those people did. 
Well, parents and you know, and older people? you know how like you look at pictures of like your parents in their forties and you're like they look so much older than what I look like. Yes, and they don't. I saw a TikTok about this. It's the hair. Yes, I seen that too. Where they took the Golden Girls and changed yeah. out their hair. I was like, genius! It's the hair. But I don't. Uh, it's the hair. There's old hair so You're stuff. saying that I look younger. Hey, if... if because they, I have long curly hair. If Zoomers are going to come after me for my side part and call me old for oh, having a side part, so then stupid. yes, it's your hair that makes you old. Okay, you do not go. I don't think you can go there. And I just got into skinny jeans, okay? I didn't... I wore bell bottoms for the longest <laughs> time. Or boot cut for the longest time. And then they wouldn't sell them anymore because everybody wore skinny jeans. So I said, fuck it, I'll f I finally wear skinny jeans. And I liked it because it makes me look taller. Yeah, they do. I've tried to tell you that for years. I I that. don't, I didn't like my jeans touching my socks. I know, and it's really weird. And also I had a weird issue where I thought my feet looked big. So I, I wanted jeans to make my feet look smaller. Oh my God. I also wanted shoes to make my feet look smaller. And then the I realized weird things that we do in our heads ourselves. Is, and then I realized being subconscious about the size of your feet is really fucking weird. It is. It is. Okay. Yeah. Especially because no guy has ever been like, "Oh, look at your cute small feet." There are guys that have feet or, stuff. But, well, feet. Yeah. But, but I have never but, dated any of them, and I don't know where. Or it look at from. your feet. And go. Oh my god. <laughs> I can see your feet. I would totally sell feet pictures. I think I have cute feet. I agree. I don't agree that you should sell pictures. I agree Why not? You be, you be. Made up money. Ew. It doesn't hurt me any. Just my feet. I'll gladly make some money off stupid shit like that. Like, it doesn't affect me. Inflexible. Yep. Says a person that's done lines all day. Just here doing lines. Not those kinds oh. of lines. But I <laughs> Sometimes I wish I was doing those kinds of lines. No, you... Oh, uh, no. I, I, I've already I did, been through this conversation. I've never tried drugs, so I can't say. Me either. I've read a lot of books about people yeah, doing me drugs. me either. Does that count? <laughs> what is she long? <laughs> no, she's not. You've never done drugs. Nope, I haven't. Mm. Mm-hmm. So on today's episode, we lied. <laughs> it's funny because I say drugs, and I mean like Tylenol, marijuana. Uh, <laughs> okay, but marijuana is painkillers. In my oh god no, um, marijuana has not always mm -hmm. been like. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. Okay, this one is in the Grand Canyon because we don't like it. Okay, got it. Just one. A picture? No. Nope. It's a video. Made yep. of a million pictures. Yep, that's what it is. Oh, old people. <laughs> you know, in my day, we took a picture. We couldn't even see what it was. I know, sometimes I think about that whenever we watch like shows and stuff from the 90s or the early 2000s. I'm like, God, we thought this was such good quality. I remember watching this on my dad's pro pro projection big screen and going, man, look at that quality. <laughs> What's... And there was no quality. It had very little quality. If you go back and watch shows that, like the... Uh, what's it called? Whatever... Yeah. Um. Animation? No. Cartoons? No. Anime? No. The uh, special effects. Oh yeah. On CGI. shows from my generation to your generation. Woo! It's so That's... funny. I was going back and watching Lost, you know, like a few months ago, and like. The way they shot that film was so they could scale it in the future, and it still looks pretty good. And then they cut to the CGI stuff, and it's like, no, 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 no. that's bad. Yeah. But it's... it was like the best at the time. It's just, it's funny because like everything else in that show looks crisp and clean because they they specifically filmed it on film that would 
be able to be scaled up in the future. Oh, so it still okay. looks really good. And then they cut to the CGI and it's from you know, 2000. <laughs> and it's like, ooh, uh-oh. 